Hello, I'm Warrior2008 with Mac Daddy Ads. Thank you for coming to my audio series. Before we get started, I just want to tell you that these audios are unedited. They're unrehearsed, so just bear with me. Sometimes I'll make mistakes and I'll recover, but I don't care. We're just two people in a conversation and just talking. So take off your shoes, pour yourself a cup of coffee, and just enjoy the sound of my voice and what I have to teach you. Now, there's several series that we're going to go over, but before we go any further, I'd like you to meet my dog, Buck. I figured you need some visual aid just by listening to my voice voice is rough enough at least you'd have some good visual now I know starting a business can be tough and scary but you don't need what Buck has in his mouth to get started all you need is courage and desire and things can work out just fine but it does take effort it does take timing and it does take testing and testing and testing this is not a type of business where you go out and you put your money out there and it comes back to you immediately it can not happen and it happened to me pretty quickly but it doesn't always work like that so just remember the perseverance on your part is key once you have a successful ad campaign you can crank it out in a newspaper newspaper and make a fortune if you do it the right way I got my start a few years ago up in Seattle and I placed a seven dollar ad that's all the money I could leverage from my paycheck because my wife and I were in arguments all the time because there was no money we needed a gig we needed something we needed something extra than what I was doing at the job. There wasn't any money and as you know in big cities or anywhere you live the economy and inflation can kill you with what you have to spend. All your outgoing money is constantly being spent on all these ridiculous things called bills just to survive. I placed a seven dollar ad and it did not come back. I started looking around for different types of ways to write ads and different types of projects. I remember using an affiliate site. It was a mystery shopper site. It was pretty exciting at the time. And I threw out another ad, wrote it a different way. And again, the $7 disappeared on me. It did not come back. It was like a black eye. I couldn't figure out why these people were able to make money and I couldn't. One day, the phone rang. And it was a girl on the phone, and she was an ad rep, and she wanted to tell me how to place some ads in her paper so she can sell me and make a commission. I don't think she had any idea at the time. In fact, I know she didn't how big or how small I was. She just saw my classified ad. So what happened is she explained to me how the newspaper and advertising business worked. And folks, this was the phone call, the magical phone call that changed everything in my business, the million dollar phone call. She told me that express publications, these publication groups, all form an agreement, whether it's two to 300 papers in a group or 100 papers in a group. And whoever collects the money makes most of the money on the group and the other the advertisers or the other newspapers place the ad for free in the group. Instead of saying you're a newspaper company with 60,000 circulation, you can then say I'm a newspaper company with a million or a million and a half circulation for X amount of dollars. So what she would do is collect the money and she would email this ad to everybody in the publication and her company and the publications would go ahead and put the ad in there and they would make most of the money because she was the one that made the call and actually put the ad in there for me. So it depended on who took the money, who made the money, and everybody else just kind of put it in there for free. Well, I talked to my wife at the time about placing an ad for $100. It was a million and a half circulation. She did not like it. She did not want me to go for it, and we fought. We fought like crazy. But I told her, I will make it work. Some way, I will make it work, and if it doesn't work, I won't try it again. Now, folks, before you get started, don't go to your spouse, tell them you're going to spend some money, and tell them if it doesn't work, you won't do it again. It's not a good business idea because this is testing. But what happened to me is I placed an ad regarding this Mystery Shopper website, and I got for a little over 100 bucks a million and a half circulation, and guess what? That money came back. It came back to me. It was my money. Now, it was our family's money, but it was my money. I established a business account. I established a, a business license and a, you know, a, a total network for I can run a business out of. But I told my wife that that's the money I would use. That's the money I would put out there to make it come back again. And I placed another ad the next week, and it did again. It came back again week after week. And something I noticed that Every time I placed an ad, every single week, I got a few more sales the following week.
because what was happening is people were looking in an old newspaper, a four-week-old newspaper, a three-week-old newspaper, a two-week-old newspaper. So if for like four weeks ago, I had that ad in there, and there were these people that were just staring at the ad, seeing if it was still going to stick around, kind of like we do on TV or radio, where we're late to respond, but it just subliminally keeps, subliminally keeps playing on us over and over again in our heads and our minds and our eyes until finally we respond. I had these people that were looking at my ad. And in week four, I'd brought in a couple more cells. In a week three, another cell. Week two, four or five more cells. And then the current week, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven cells. Whatever the number was, it all compounded for the fourth week and I made a lot more profit. So I was able to continue to expand. And what I did is I found these other newspaper groups, these publications with my ad rep that were small, another 100 to $200 a week, and I would test the same ad. I didn't try to do anything different. I took that same ad out there. Maybe it wasn't the top converting ad I ever could have wrote, but it was an ad that was working, and I didn't want to change a thing. I noticed that a few ad groups didn't work for me, and I got concerned. So I called her up and I asked her why, and she told me that these newspaper businesses, these are these businesses that were advertising in these other papers that you didn't see them advertise in, had lost money testing their ads and they didn't work for those those companies, so they didn't advertise in those certain papers. So she recommended that I don't advertise in them either because all the work and testing had already been done. And we agreed that she would find every single ad that I was tracking in the papers and only put my ad next to them and in that section so that I could go and have the best, of course, opportune time to make as much money as I could with all the work and all the money has already been spent on their dime. So we did that. Now remember, an advertising rep will be your intel agency show or he or she will work for you. They're making a commission if you allow the process to take effect. Let them know what you're looking for. Have them track ads for you and to quote you different prices and to have your ad placed right next to someone else's ad that's been there for several years and is making it in that section, depending on what that type of ad is. So this is how I got my start. It was the most exciting thing, and it was the best phone call I have ever received. If you were to go and dial up every newspaper uh, agency or business in the country, it could be a million to $2 million a month just paying every single newspaper company. And everybody that's done that before knows how it works. I primarily deal with free rack stand papers and mailing papers that go to uh, uh, other addresses that people mail out. But free rack stand papers are the best, the best bang for the buck. I keep the average ticket price between $20 and $49 because these people do not have a lot of money. It's kind of like going out and buying a Warrior Special Offer. If you're buying this offer now here at the Warrior Forum at WSO, it's like buying a Warrior Special Offer there for 9 10 bucks. They just don't have a lot of money. So this is how I got my start. This has been the most exciting ride of my life. I've made a lot of money, and I'm now coming down to teach you. Newspaper prices are getting a lot cheaper. There's a lot less competitions, but if you look around and track the ads, there's a lot of other companies out there making a quiet fortune, and they don't want you camping out next to them because you'll still their thunder. I'm Warrior 2008. I hope you enjoy this segment. Hope you enjoy my dog Buck, and we'll see you on the next video.